wrapping up the video with the scar. In my opinion, you can, this say, you can even say that, you know, with what they what the you gotta do, push it forward. What's up, guys? Connor here with Guns and Stuff, and in this video, I'm gonna do a follow up to my scar after two year video. I had a viewer and subscriber, JD, hopefully, you're watching this. I had him recommend, uh, Pretty much tell me he wanted a video that kind of went over the wear points and stuff like that. That's something I didn't really dive into. So I'm going to take the rifle apart, show you as much as I can think of every nook and cranny, show you the wear points and things you guys need to look out for. I've had about, rough guess, maybe around like 3,000 rounds through this rifle, maybe a little bit less. So bear with me on that. I'm not exactly sure. But I'm going to show you the wear points, take it apart, and show you guys. And I do have some experience with a 16S, and I'll tell you guys about that. So let's, let's do it. Let's hop right into it. I'm going to take the piston out, take it all apart. Let's do it. All right, so I'm behind the camera here. One thing I do want to add is my dirt test. Honestly, a decent amount of this wear and tear came from that dirt test. I mean, it, that definitely left a mark on my rifle. I'll show you what, what it did and stuff like that. So I've got the... My flash is on so you guys can see in there. I've got my receiver here. Obviously the trigger there, it's got a little bit of wear. That's just, I mean, from hitting the hammer and all that good stuff, or hitting the firing pin. A little bit of wear right in there. And then as you can see, the scratches right here, scratches right there, that is all from my dirt test video. And I remember I was cleaning this gun and I was like sad when I got home and I was cleaning this because I saw that, I mean, that's a permanent mark there I mean that that's gonna be there forever and I try to every time I use this I clean it so I'm trying to clean it as good as possible there's a little bit of wear points on the pin that holds it in place there so that's the receiver I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm forgetting obviously there's all the goodies in there put this aside stock this is just polymer but there's a little bit of oil there or grease or something I do use white lithium grease on this I don't really use oil that much um, we'll get to the bolt here. Let me pop the, uh, as you can see, it is a little greased up. So we might not just pop this out, maybe. All right, so take a look at the bolt. Sorry, this is hard to do behind the camera here. Bear, please bear with me. All right, so I got the bolt, which is oiled up and lubed up. Uh, as you can see, there's really not a whole lot of wear on this, actually. The extractor there that's just grease extractor there it looks in pretty good shape the the metal of the bolt and this is not one of the scars that has to be recalled I don't know if you guys know that but FN just had to recall like 417 scars pretty crazy a little bit of wear and tear on that guy just a little bit pin obviously it's gonna be wear and tear there I'm using my iPhone here, so this might not be the... What else? I got the actual bolt. Now, this is where most of the wear goes on. Obviously, that point there is going to be a little bit of wear there. And that's on each side and on the front and back. So there's a wear point. Wear point. Wear point. And then inside of this, these actually don't get much wear at all. Obviously, where the piston hits, that's worn out. Not worn out, but there's definitely, you can see some metal on metal contact. I don't know. I mean, it's really not that bad. On the top, there's nothing. And like I said, inside of there, there is wear, but I'd put grease on it. There's nothing on the outside, so we'll put that to the side. Now, the piston, it's pretty good shape. I know on forums I've read some of the earlier scars, some of the chrome lining here would, like, flake off. Mine is... I mean, mine is held up pretty well. It's really hard to get all that carbon off, so the front has a little bit of carbon. But overall, I mean, the piston looks fine. I'm going to get a picture of in here. I don't know if you guys can... Yeah, that's not going to happen to, to see in there, but there's not a whole lot of wear. There is some carbon in there because it's a pain in the butt to, to actually get in there and clean that. I don't know what that is. Uh, whatever. All right. So now looking inside of it, I'll get pictures of this. There is discoloration in there. I don't. I, that has to be a wear point because the whole thing. 
if it was just discoloring from using it, it would it would be all over. Uh, so there's a little bit there. The the finish on this, it it stayed pretty well. There's a couple nicks and scuffs there, and wear point definitely right here. That one's been there ever since like the first time I shot it. Obviously in there, it's getting a little chewed up. Right there's a good one. There's a good one. So, I mean, I don't know. It's not that bad. It holds up really well. I will go to the back here. This is all from the dirt test. All in there. Go to the back. Yeah, this is tough to do. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm pretty sure all that wear there is from the dirt test. Chamber, I mean, the bore is crystal clean whenever I clean it. The, the chamber is spotless. I, I'll try to get a picture of that or something. Firing pin, not really a whole lot of wears and nick or wear and nicks and stuff like that. Gas key, it's really tough to get all this carbon off. But I mean that's that's it. And I didn't put that oil there. The owner's manual says do not put oil on this or in the uh, or in that. Maybe if I could show it. Yep, right there. So I definitely don't do that. I don't know how that got there. It must just be from my hands as of now. But uh, did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything. Piston is the big one I wanted to show you guys inside the receiver. And with the SCAR 16, we have a SCAR 16 on the range that I work at. And that finish is awful. The finish, it, it like, I don't even know how to explain it. It just looks terrible. And what happened with that SCAR, we didn't clean. This is my fault. We. I never took the piston out of the the where the piston goes. So it had to be like 5,000 rounds. It's a rental gun. And this is a SCAR 16. That thing took me like 45 minutes to get to get this out to even, excuse me, to even turn it to get it out. The piston was just caked up. I should have pictures of it. The piston, I mean, it was a mess. It took me about 45 minutes just to get the thing apart, nonetheless, to clean it. So... If you have a scar, I always, always, always clean the piston and and in here, always. That I mean, that's just something you got to do with the scar. I've learned that the hard way. I've never really seen anyone talk about it on forums. So, yeah, that's it. I'll get a picture of the barrel, throw it in there. So there's definitely a big one there, big one there, two big ones right in there. And that's, I mean, where the, the freaking huge bolt is riding. But the bolt, and there's a little bit of wear on the two sides there obviously right there there but yeah I use grease usually not oil so uh, I don't know I hope you guys like the video I hope I covered everything if not I don't know so uh, that's my scar two years of wear about 3,000 rounds and uh, see you in the next video